Welcome to a brief demonstration of the power of MD Consult and First Consult. The following will show you how MD Consult, reinforced by the First Consult iPad app, can help you find the full range of answers you need. First, through the quick reference point of care content of the First Consult iPad app, then through the more in depth reference content of MD Consult. Say you need information on pyelonephritis in the pediatric and adolescent age group. Your search begins by downloading the First Consult iPad app that's available free with an MD Consult subscription. Once the app is installed, use it to search for pyelonephritis. You can gain a basic understanding of the epidemiology, etiology, and general features of pyelonephritis by starting with the background section of your search results. After reviewing the background section, Click on the Diagnosis section to help place the background information into context. Clicking on individual diagnoses is also recommended for better perspective. Diagnoses such as acute appendicitis and acute muscle injury, both conditions that could reasonably produce symptoms of pyelonephritis in the pediatric and adolescent age group. Next, go to the Treatment section to access Ask for Advice and view frequently asked questions about pyelonephritis. Finally, view the resources section for a comprehensive list of references and guidelines. For each of the references listed, you can click on links beneath the entry, such as the Crossref link, to access additional information from the source. At this point, you have successfully used the First Consult iPad app to quickly and efficiently gain a comprehensive overview of pyelonephritis. For a more in-depth understanding of pyelonephritis, you can continue your search on MD Consult. Say you need to investigate pyelonephritis further, perhaps to gain insight on a pediatric patient with pyelonephritis who presents with fever. You can continue your search by visiting mdconsult.com. When you arrive, type pyelonephritis into the search field. Next, scroll down the page of the search results to the etiology section. Within that section, click on the Etiology of Pyelonephritis link to view the source, Fairy's Practical Guide to the Care of the Medical Patient, 8th edition. Once the source has loaded, click on the top links under the Relevant Content section. Since you're looking for information on a patient presenting with fever, you would then click on the first link, Resources on Fever. Once you click Resources on Fever, a new window will pop up next to it, listing subtopics. Choose Practice Guidelines from these topics and then, because the patient is in the pediatric and adolescent age group, choose the article Fever and Antipyretic Use in Children. Clicking on the link takes you to the full text of the relevant article from the Journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Referencing the complete clinical report, you are able to gain deeper insight into the topic you now have a solid, well-researched grasp on how to treat a pediatric patient with pyelonephritis who presents with fever. You've just been shown how to use quick, point-of-care reference content together with more in-depth reference content to find all the answers you need. Thank you for viewing this video demonstration of MD Consult and the First Consult iPad app.